8-inch banana cakes. You will need to preheat the oven to 180 degrees um, before you begin. From a little cottage in the hills, way down west in First you'll need um, 500 grams of butter, then you'll need 500 grams of caster sugar, then you combine the sugar and the butter. As you can see, it's getting a bit creamy and floppy there. Right, now I'm gonna add the eggs. Side and pop one in at a time. Then I fold it in and this is your third egg. I'll then add orange and lemon extract. Um, one, this gives it uh, more flavor and also it cuts down on the rawness from the, the eggs. Next stage now I'm going to add is the flour. Okay, so with this bit it's get very messy so be very careful. If it gets a bit too stiff then you can um, add a little bit of um, vanilla. And this is 500 grams of um, self-raising flour with quarter teaspoon of baking soda. The baking soda gives it a nice fluffy and light uh, texture. Now we can add some of the vanilla, which is the two teaspoons, to soften the mixture. So now we're gonna add some of the mixed spice. Now this gives it a nice aroma. It's amazing. Now the last part of our cake we're going to add is the bananas. Peel the bananas, break it roughly like that. Right, so what we're going to do now is crush the bananas. Gradually. Right, as you can see it becomes a very like a gooey paste now. We're gonna add it to our mixture. Right, so we cut in and fold in again. And make sure that everything is mixed in properly and nice. Oh. So then I'm gonna add this now to my um, two, two eight inch tin. So I just like to like spoon it like that, evenly. Put it to the sides, fluff it out, make it even. There we go. And now we've got two eight inch banana cake, ready for the oven. And this will bake for 50 minutes and then after 50 minutes on 180 check um, with a skewer and when it comes out clean it's baked. Right, after taking it out of the oven make it stand for about 15 minutes to cool and then we're going to just release the side of the tin and then just gently peel the greaseproof paper off. And that's your, that is best ever banana cake. Well done, Mark. I think you did a very good job. I can't wait to taste this yummy banana cake. Also for the sweet tooth person, they can have it with vanilla ice cream or custard, but we like to serve it natural without any added cream or stuff, but you can add your stuff to it. What do you mm. think of it? Mmm, absolutely yummy. Mmm, it's the best. 
It is known as Daddy's Best Ever Banana Cake, and I would definitely say compliments to the chef. Oh, thank you. Brothers getting jade. Some hooked and